everyone, welcome to my channel Alice Yummy Food. Today I'm going to be making a cold Russian borscht. It's called Khaladnik um, in Russian and we eat this all the time during the summer. It's on menus in every single restaurant and of course there's lots of homemade options and variations of this soup. It's a very quick and easy recipe as well. Um, you might need to get some ingredients like kefir is a traditional Russian like milk which kind of is like curded. Uh, but similar to that you can get buttermilk. But apart from that, let's get started! So the first thing I did uh, to get it out of the way, I baked my beetroot in the skin with a bit of salt in the oven for 45 minutes at 200 degrees and then I peeled them and now they're clean. And this is how the kefir looks. Uh, you can get it in any Russian, Polish, Lithuanian shops if you live abroad or of course in Russia and Latvia you can get it anywhere. So the first step is to grate our beetroot. We we'll take a grater and just do that. Okay, so I've got these Russian cucumbers. They're very small. Um, they're similar to gherkin style, obviously, just fresh. Again, you can get them on markets, uh, in organic shops, and especially in summer, they should be everywhere. So all we're going to do now is just cut out the ends and. I'm going to cube it, so just cut it in half, more times in half, just along the side, and then just little cubes. Okay, I've prepared all my vegetables, they smell absolutely delicious, the smell of cucumber makes you think of summer every single time. Now, I like to use a proper bowl soup, just because it's still a soup, we're not going to be cooking it, it's going to be a cold one. So, um, first of all, we're going to place all the beetroot in there with the cucumber. And I'm going to add one litre of kefir, one at a time, just give it a mix. And you can see that beautiful colour is starting to form. I like to add a bit of sea salt as well. So you can season it with some salt, some pepper, and mix it together. Now I also like to add one teaspoon of uh, mustard, uh, sorry, no mustard, um, coarse radish. It gives that extra flavor. If you have a fresh one, you can use that. And then we add the rest of the kefir. Just like that. A few squeezes of lemon juice. I'm going to prepare my green onions and cut them into nice circles, just like that. Now I've got three eggs here, you can use more or less depending how you like it. And the first two, all I'm really going to do is just cut them into stripes, just like that. And now we're just going to add this right into the soup. Once the eggs are mixed in, uh, this is cold boiled water. We just add a tiny bit just to make sure that the soup is very nice and well, watery. <laughs> Once it's all done, it's ready to serve. For the best result, um, it's better to leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Okay, the final touch is how it makes the soup really nice and pretty. I just love this colour. I like to sprinkle a bit of green onion on top. I've got our egg, which traditionally you put it right there in the middle like this. And of course sour cream just on the side. I can't wait to try the soup. It reminds me again of my grandma's garden uh, sitting outside and just really refreshing, especially in the really hot weather. This soup will make you feel so good. It's so healthy, full of vitamins, full of natural sugars and everything. It's just amazing. So I like to mix it in together, just so the sour cream gets in there. Let's just try that. Mmm. Mmm. This is amazing. I really hope you try the soup. It's very unusual and I know Beetroot is something very Russian, but honestly, it's so good for you. It's got a lot of benefits and it's just amazing. So guys, I really hope you try this dish. Uh, please let me know if you have. 
in the comments below and see you all next Sunday. Bye!